Okay, here's our bar model problem. I haven't told you guys the word problem and I haven't even told you any numbers. What can we tell just by looking at this picture? What can you guys tell just by looking at the picture? Yes, nice and loud. Um, I think that it looks like there's apples there and I think it says store A, the blue part, it looks like it has less than store B, which okay. is two. Okay, awesome. Okay, so store A definitely has less than store B. Who can give me another observation about our bar model? It looks like store B has like two times as much as store A. Very good. All these boxes are the same size, okay? And store B has two boxes instead of just the one, so they have twice as many boxes as store A, or two times as much as store A. Other observations. Well, it seems like we're comparing and not adding them all together, like combining them. So that's like why well, we have two. Good. So we have two bar models because we're comparing two things. Awesome. Perfect. Now that we've looked at the bar models, here's your problem. Store A sells 397 apples. Store B sells twice as much. How much do the stores sell all together? Where do you think we would want to put our question mark bracket, but know that mm, we shouldn't put it there? Where do you guys think we would immediately want to put it? Because usually it goes there. Okay, show us where we think, and then just hit it again. Go, no, go ahead. Good. Usually we would want, we would think, oh, the bracket will go here, and we'll try to figure out this, and the question mark will go on the bottom. But since we want to figure out how much store A and store B have all together, we should do it on. So I know sometimes you usually want to put the bracket there because you want to figure out how much store B has. Good. Usually you would say, oh, and how much does store B make? But what was our question again, guys? How much do you want all together? Good. How much do they make all together? Who can show us where our bracket would go? We want the bracket on the side because we're going to find out how much it is in all, not just one or two. Very good. So our bracket is going to go on the side. I'll move my apples out of the way. Okay, because so we want to know what all of this is, not just store B, but everything all together. Now, how can we solve this in the quickest way? Since each box is the same size, and how much is each box worth? 397. So I can do, what can I do? Who can go up to the board and show us what I would do for multiplication? Very good. We would do 397 times 3 because we have three boxes and they're all the same amount. So we're going to do 7 times 3, which is 21. Carry the 2. We're going to do 9 times 3, which is 27. Add the 2 that we carried over. Very good, so 27. Careful, 20, good, so 29. And then we're going to do 3 times 3, which is 9, and then add the 2 that we carried over. Good, and then what's our label, guys? Apples. Apples, so total, store A and store B, sell. Go ahead and write apples in. 1,191 apples. apples. Nice.